Um, I'm Tom Kelly, I'm president of Linfield College, and I'm very pleased to welcome all of you to this event, our grad finale. This is a record attendance at this event, as you can probably tell. Uh, but we're very pleased that you were able to join us, and we want briefly to recognize and salute really everyone who's been involved in the success of the class of 2016. We're going to begin with three toasts that will be made by members of the class of 2016. I'll introduce each of them uh, in turn. And then I'll say a few words at the end and, and we'll make a few additional comments about what's happening tomorrow. But I'd like to begin by introducing one graduating senior, Matthew Kialio, Kialio, better known to many of us as Pee, who's from Hawaii. He's a math major. He played soccer for four years at Linfield. He worked as a residence hall advisor for three years. He's been involved in various leadership activities at the college. But he probably left his greatest impression on the largest number of people, at least, as the MC for one of Linfield's greatest events, our annual luau. So please help me welcome to this small stage, P.E. Kailio. Hello. Hello. Thank you, President Helly, for that lovely introduction, and to everybody else. What's up? If you haven't attended any of the annual Hawaiian Club Luau's in the past four years, well, shame on you. If you have, then you know that I don't usually do scripted speeches, so please try to bear with me. And yes, administration made me write down my jokes. <laughs> I used to spend my summers watching kids at a day camp that weren't my own. Not that I have any children of my own. Don't worry, Mom. <laughs> On those long days around the time that we'd start our eighth game of Turtle, an ingenious game that combines dodgeball and capture the flag, you can see me after for details. I would ponder life and all the reasons as to what in the world would possess people who used to be normal human beings like me to become parents. The task seems unending and exhausting. You hear stories about how having a child, being a part of a family, or caring for someone more than you care about yourself can be some of the most rewarding feelings in the world. True or not, if I have learned anything from being on the receiving end of all of that love, I can say one thing for certain. It is not easy. Do you even know how much time, effort, and money has gone into shaping a fine-looking gentleman like myself? <laughs> Though I may look like a warm summer breeze in a comfortable July afternoon, I am not. I won't even try to explain the episode of 06, where I was distraught to find that I was not, in fact, a wizard. No, it wasn't easy for any of our parents, and it doesn't seem like the workload is going to end just because we're graduating. Over the past three few years, our parents and loved ones have grown accustomed to our needs as students. Retrieving forgotten homework assignments have turned into accepting anxious phone calls when we failed our first college exams. With this next step in our lives, their roles will adapt. Caring for scrapes and bruises will soon become co-signing rental agreements and coping with unemployment. <laughs> heartbreak will become, well, more heartbreak. That remains constant, though, to their credit, they are probably professionals at dealing with catastrophe by now. <clears throat> but the list of unchangeables are not all bad. For one, we will continue to make up words like unchangeable. Though we have our college degree, it doesn't mean that we won't let our minds run wild from time to time. And it is in those moments, every moment before and every moment after, that we will continue to need your wisdom. We will also continue to do our best for fear of disappointing you. Yes, we know that you're going to be happy as long as we're happy, no matter what we're doing, right? Liars. <laughs> we want to make you proud. We will make you proud. We will continue to reciprocate that love that knows no bounds because your sacrifices have not gone unnoticed. There is not a day that goes by, though we may not show it, that we aren't forever thankful to have each and every one of you in our lives. 
They say that commencement ceremonies aren't for the students. Well, this weekend is no exception. So, for everything you've done and will continue to do, we raise our glasses. May this taste better than that first weekend after you dropped us off. <laughs> to our loved ones. Thank you. Kara Barlow. Kara Barlow came to us from Craig, Alaska. She majored in inter intercultural communications, and while a Linfield student, she studied abroad both in Costa Rica and in Mexico. She was very active at the college, co-director of the Wise Mentor Program, a member of the Phi Sigma Sigma Soror sorority. Please welcome Kara Barlow. for the introduction, and good evening to all of you. So most of us understand that the faculty of an institution of higher learning can truly make or break our college experience. I learned this very early on while attending Linfield College, and I'm happy to say that the faculty here made my college experience exceptional. Some of the qualities of the faculty at Linfield College that stick out to me most are their obvious love of teaching, their commitment to helping us realize our full potential, and their sincere belief in our futures. It is obvious that professors truly enjoy their work when they go above and beyond to ensure that we understand and comprehend the material. I can say that the amount of time the Linfield faculty spends doing this is astounding compared to what I have witnessed with friends and peers from other colleges and universities. It is not rare for a professor at Linfield to stay late or arrive early to meet one-on-one -on -one with one of us who needs a bit more guidance and to do it with such patience and sincere joy. The first time I witnessed the true dedication of the Linfield faculty was during the first semester of my freshman year. I was at a point in my life where I was sure of where I was going. I planned to major in biology, become a pharmacist, and travel the world. Nothing was going to get in my way except general chemistry. <laughs> so one day, I decided to swallow my pride and forced myself to seek help from my chemistry professor. That particular day, I remember he was in a meeting, unavailable to assist me. I clearly looked panicked because after a few minutes of seeing me pace up and down the hallway, Professor Brian Gilbert came to our rescue. He offered to help me. I remember telling him that it was okay, I could just wait for my professor. He insisted on helping me. It was such a simple gesture, but one that has stuck with me. I was shocked. He was not my professor. He did not even know my name, but he was willing to take the time to walk me step by step through those terrifying chemistry problems. He did more than teach me chemistry, he restored my confidence. Linfield College faculty challenged us on a day-to-day -day basis in order to teach persistence, perseverance, and independent thinking. I can assure you that the confidence we seniors hold today is in large part due to the challenging tasks we were given during our time at Linfield. This, for me, became truly apparent for the first time during my sophomore year. I remember I had switched my major to intercultural communication and was required to take international politics. At that time, I did not want to think about politics, talk about politics or learn about politics. However, thanks to Professor Pat Cottrell, this was far, by far my favorite class at Linfield. It wasn't because I got an A, I didn't get an A. <laughs> it was my favorite class because Professor Cottrell instilled in us confidence that we have not only the ability, but also the responsibility to expand our knowledge for knowledge's sake, not just to pass a final. The immense amount of support that the Linfield College faculty showed each and every one of us is what sets them apart from other educators. Our professors know us by name, they know where we come from, and they believe in where we are going. They rejoice with us in our successes and encourage us if we ever seem to have doubts about our futures. It is comforting to know that although our time as students at Linfield College has come to a close, we will carry our professors' words of support with us as we begin our next chapter. Just last week, I emailed my advisor and professor, Brenda DeVore Marshall, to inform her that I would be regrettably missing her class to, for an interview for a job. I never received a reply and was slightly anxious to approach her the day after to express my apologies. Oh, that's quite all right, she told me. In fact, she said she had been thinking of me all morning while teaching class and sending good vibes my way. Each one of us who walks across the stage tomorrow has our own professor impact story. It may not involve Professor Gilbert, Professor Cottrell, or Professor Marshall, or it might. 
But those stories involve professors that dedicated their time to help bring about our success, not only academically, but also in life. To the faculty of Linfield College, I do not believe I will ever find the words to thoroughly convey my appreciation. You are inspiring individuals and have all served significant roles in our lives. Your love for teaching has made learning meaningful and fulfilling. Your challenges created persistence and self-confidence, and the support you showed to us all will enable us to go out into the world as caring, involved, and supportive individuals ourselves who will make a positive difference in our communities. So a toast to our professors, Linfield faculty, may we impact the lives around us as positively and devotedly as you have impacted ours. We will now hear from Morgan Gerke, who comes from Tualatin, Oregon. She majored in mass communications and was very active on campus, a member of the Alpha Phi sorority, a tour guide for the Office of Admission, a peer advisor in the colloquial program, even worked with institutional advancement in, as her work-study job. Putting many of those skills to good work after graduation, Morgan will begin her work as a recruiter for Heritage. Morgan Gerke. President Helley. This picture. <laughs> so my fellow Wildcats, what an exciting time this is for all of us. Not only are we going to start adulting, but we get this opportunity to look back and to appreciate everything that Lindell has given to us, and the best thing being each other. We have all been lucky enough to be a part of something so incredibly special, and that is the Linfield community. I always tell people, you know, those non-Linfielders, how special it is and how really wonderful it is to be a part of such a great community. I tell them how we really are like one huge family and that we reach out to one another to support one another. We are there to celebrate each other's highest highs, like our freshman year when we lined Lever Street at one in the morning in the pouring rain to welcome home our new national champion baseball team. <laughs> We are also there in times of incredible heartbreak, like when we lost the incredible Parker Moore last fall. But even out of all of that sadness, there was even more love. Love for Parker, love for his family and friends, but mostly just one love for one another. And that right there is a perfect example of the Linfield community. Here at Linfield, we have all gone through a lot over the last four years. But this moment and this weekend is what all those moments were for. The moment when we can come together as one and congratulate each other on all of our hard work and for all the happiness, sadness, heartbreak, love, and everything else in between we felt over the last four years, and I'm sure we're all going to have a flood of that feeling tomorrow. Um, so tomorrow, if you can't tell if I'm like laughing or crying, I probably don't know either, so it's okay. And I actually found something the other day when I was moving out of my college apartment and back home with mom and dad, because let's be real, I can't afford to live on my own yet. <laughs> I found a really nice letter written by my dad. Um, it's uh, dated August 24th, 2012, so my freshman move-in day. I'll just read a little part of it. Um, it says, this next phase of your life will allow you to spread your wings, discover new things, make new friends, and have so much fun along the way. So work and study hard, be engaged, and do your best. Have fun, and before you know it, we'll be back for your graduation. Yeah, I went too fast, Dad. <laughs> we love you, Mom and Dad. And I'm sure I can speak for the rest of my classmates when I say those four years went by faster than I ever could have imagined. But we, are there for, we were always there for each other in the beginning. We're there for each other now, and we're going to be there for each other always, because that is what makes Linfield, Linfield. So if you all please raise your glasses and help me congratulate the fellow classmates and the class of 2016. We've all earned this, you guys. Cheers. the Director of Alumni Relations and proud graduate of Linfield College. 
It is my job in some ways to help you stay connected to each other and to Linfield College. You just heard Morgan say that you are like family, a community, and I believe that is true. I have a good example of that, I think. Just today at lunch, we joined our 50-year club for lunch, and those are alumni who graduated from Linfield 50 years ago or more. I sat with a gentleman who was from the class of 1944. Let that sink in for just a minute. He graduated from Linfield in 1944. I believe that was 72 years ago. And yet there he was, proud as could be, to have lunch with other graduates of this college. He felt that sense of community, that Linfield family, though he's in his 90s. So I hope you also feel proud to be a part of this community and to be an alum of this college. I hope that you will wear your Linfield sweatshirts and baseball caps wherever you go, and that you will have a car sporting decals or bumper stickers or even now a Linfield license plate. I hope that you will keep in touch with the college and send us an address when you move out of mom and dad's so that we can continue to be in touch with you, that you keep an email on file so you can get our monthly electronic newsletter and stay in touch that you will continue to cheer for those sports teams as they succeed, and that you will celebrate the achievements of our students, our faculty, and other alumni. This is a great place, a place that changes lives, and I hope you feel that. Though I don't plan to still be alumni director when you are in your 90s, I do hope that in your later years you feel the same sense of pride in being an alum of this place as you do tomorrow when you cross that stage. So yes, let us celebrate all of the people who brought you here tonight, your families, your faculty, your classmates, and your alma mater. It is with great pride that I now welcome you, the class of 2016, to the official ranks of Linfield alumni. Actually, 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 you haven't made it yet. You still have to graduate tomorrow. Graduation will um, occur at 10 o'clock in the Oak Grove. We're going to be outside. Um, I think there's about a 15% chance of a rain shower. Probably won't rain. Um, I want to thank all of you for coming this evening and I especially want to congratulate the class of 2016 for everything that you have been able to achieve at the college, for everything that you've done for all of us who were here before you came and will continue to be here after you leave. You've made a mark on the institution. We'll never be quite the same because of what you've done here. And we've lived through great triumphs together as well as some very sad tragedies and through all of that, we have grown together, as Debbie said, as a family. And so I want to raise a glass to the class of 2016. Congratulations and thank you for everything that you have done and especially thank you for everything that you will do in the future. We're very proud of you. To the class of 2016.